Well, winter may have you enjoying fun times on frozen ponds and lakes, but in doing this, safety should be your top priority. And so Zainab Shaib is explaining how to safely enjoy the ice. Well, it's that time of year where we want to go out and enjoy the ice. But before you do, there are some safety tips that you should know before stepping foot on any ice. With us is Fire Chief Bill Mormon with Bowling Green. Now, I have this outfit right here. This is actually called a Mustang that you guys wear to rescue anyone that fell through. That is correct. It's a ice rescue suit. It'll keep the uh, rescuer safe, uh, keep them warm and dry. Um, it also acts as a, a buoyancy device. And one of the things that you have in your hand here that's attached to the suit also, they're called ice picks or ice oils and what they'll do is they'll assist us once we're in the water to get out of the water and onto the back onto the ice. So you can actually climb through by just jabbing it onto the ice and working your way out correct? That is correct and actually they sell those commercially at fishing stores and that for ice fishermen. Um, you just wear them around your neck um, if you fall in the ice it's going to allow you to get out or fall into the water will allow you to get out of the ice water. Now the rule of thumb is usually four inches of ice uh, before you step on the ice or walk on it but what are some um, also safety tips that you would recommend before we go on? One of the things you always want to do is look at the condition of the ice. Um, if it's clear, bluish green, that's the strongest ice that you can get. If it's a milky color or a slushy, I um, mean, that means you've got weak ice. Mm -hmm. And of course, never go on the ice alone. And with you, you have a safety vest and also a rope that can help save somebody's life. That is correct. If, if you have the uh, an incident where someone falls through the ice, we recommend that you do not go out on the ice. Typically, uh, inexperienced individuals will go out on the ice, they'll fall into the, into the water also call 911 immediately um, but if you have a rope close by okay you can utilize a rope you can use a lot utilize a large stick but throw the rope out to the individual just throw it on out there the most important thing though is to have them wrap it around their arm three times and what that'll do it'll enable you to be able to pull them out of the ice well thank you so much for all those safety tips now for more tips you can always check out our website at wtol.com in bowling green zainab shaib for wtol 11